Welcome to Radical Farming. In this podcast, we will explore the most innovative and sustainable solutions for the future of farming. And today we're diving into an exciting topic that could reshape how we think about animal feed and waste management. This episode is all about black soldier fly larvae, or BSFL, and how they can transform organic waste into a high-protein, sustainable feed source for livestock. We'll give special attention to chicken manure as the best substrate for growing BSFL quickly and efficiently in just 21 to 28 days. The Growing Challenge, Global Protein Demand As the world population continues to grow, so does our demand for protein. By 2050, it's estimated that the global population will hit 9.7 billion, which means we'll need to increase food production by 70% to keep up. This rising demand isn't just for any food, it's primarily for high-protein sources, like meat, fish, and eggs. But here's the catch, traditional feed ingredients like soybeans and fish meal, which are critical to raising livestock, are becoming increasingly expensive and environmentally unsustainable. Overfishing, deforestation, and climate change are all contributing to a feed crisis. Livestock feed represents up to 70% of the total cost of raising animals. So, how do we meet the protein needs of billions of people while also protecting our planet? This is where BSFL come into play. Enter the black soldier, fly larvae. Black soldier fly larvae are a unique species of insect known for their ability to break down organic waste. They convert waste into highly nutritious proteins, fats, and essential nutrients that can be used as animal feed. Imagine taking waste that would otherwise end up in landfills and turning it into valuable resources. Sounds radical, right? BSFL aren't just sustainable, they're also incredibly efficient at nutrient conversion. They can break down a variety of organic waste streams and transform them into high-quality protein. What's even better is that they grow quickly, especially when fed the right kind of substrate. Today, we'll focus on why chicken manure turns out to be the best substrate for achieving optimal BSFL growth in just 21 to 28 days. The Experiment, Testing Different Substrates A recent study conducted in Kenya looked at how BSFL perform when reared on different types of organic waste. The researchers used three different substrates, Chicken manure, CM. Kitchen waste, KW. Spent grain, SG. All of these substrates are commonly available and represent different types of organic byproducts. Chicken manure, for instance, is a waste product of poultry farming, while kitchen waste consists of leftover food and organic scraps from households. Spent grain, on the other hand, is a byproduct of the brewing process, particularly after barley is used to make beer. The study aimed to determine which of these substrates would result in the fastest and most nutrient-dense growth of BSFL. Over a period of three to four weeks, the larvae were fed on these substrates under controlled conditions, and their nutritional profiles were analyzed after they reached the prepupal stage. Why Chicken Manure? The results were clear, Chicken Manure CM, stood out as the best-performing substrate for rearing BSFL. But why? Let's break it down. 1. Nutrient Content Chicken manure contains a relatively high level of crude protein and essential nutrients, which provides an ideal environment for BSFL growth. In fact, larvae reared on CM had a crude protein content of 41.1%, a value comparable to or even higher than many traditional animal feed ingredients like soybean meal and fish meal. This high protein level is crucial for the larvae's development, helping them grow rapidly and efficiently. 2. Fast Growth BSFL reared on chicken manure grew quickly, reaching their prepupal stage within 21 to 28 days. This rapid growth is ideal for mass rearing in a commercial setting, where time and efficiency are essential. The ability to produce nutrient-dense larvae in such a short period of time makes chicken manure an extremely valuable substrate for BSFL production. 3. Sustainability Chicken manure is an abundant waste product from poultry farming. Traditionally, dealing with chicken manure has been a challenge for farmers due to its potential environmental hazards, including contamination of water sources. 
By using it as a substrate for BSFL, farmers can turn this waste into a valuable resource. This creates a circular economy where waste is repurposed to create high-quality animal feed, reducing both environmental impact and feed costs. 4. High Yield of Essential Nutrients In addition to protein, BSFL reared on CM showed excellent yields of essential nutrients like fatty acids, minerals, and amino acids. These nutrients are not only beneficial for livestock, but also for improving the overall quality of animal products, like eggs, meat, and fish. This high nutritional value makes BSFL an appealing alternative to more expensive, resource-intensive feeds. Comparing Chicken Manure to Other Substrates While BSFL reared on kitchen waste and spent grain also showed good growth, they didn't quite match the performance of larvae reared on chicken manure. Let's take a closer look at how the substrates compare. Kitchen Waste, KW Larvae fed on kitchen waste had a crude protein content of 33%, which is still high, but lower than those reared on chicken manure. Kitchen waste fed larvae also accumulated more fat, with a fat content of 34.3%, making it suitable for applications where higher energy density is required. However, when it comes to rapid growth and high protein levels, chicken manure outperformed kitchen waste. Spent grain, SG. Spent grain, on the other hand, provided a crude protein content of 41.3%, which is comparable to chicken manure. However, the larvae fed on spent grain accumulated more fiber, specifically neutral detergent fiber, NDF, at 28.6% and acid detergent fiber, ADF, at 15%. While this makes spent grain a good option for producing high-fiber animal feed, it didn't provide the same level of rapid, nutrient-dense growth seen in the larvae reared on chicken manure. The Nutritional Profile of BSFL Reared on Chicken Manure to give you a more detailed look at why chicken manure is so effective, here's a breakdown of the nutritional profile of BSFL after feeding on chicken manure. Crude protein, CP 41.1%. Ether extract, EE, fats, 30.1%. Neutral detergent fiber, NDF, 21.9%. Acid detergent fiber, ADF, 12.6%. Lysine, 4.1%, an essential amino acid important for animal growth. Methionine, 6.1%, another essential amino acid crucial for protein synthesis. Calcium, 1.94G-kg, important for bone development in livestock. Sodium, 3.3G-kg, essential for maintaining fluid balance in animals. This high level of essential nutrients makes BSFL an ideal replacement for traditional feed ingredients. Whether for poultry, pigs, or aquaculture, larvae reared on chicken manure provide a balanced, nutrient-rich feed option. Practical Applications – How Can Farmers Benefit? For poultry farmers, the benefits are twofold. Not only can chicken manure be repurposed to rear BSFL, but the larvae themselves can be used as a cost-effective, high-protein feed. This closed-loop system helps reduce waste, lower feed costs, and improve the sustainability of farm operations. Farmers are essentially turning their waste into valuable feedstock, all while contributing to a greener, more sustainable agricultural system. Additionally, the rapid growth cycle of BSFL makes them highly scalable. In just 21 to 28 days, a farmer can produce a significant amount of feed that rivals traditional sources in both quality and nutritional value. The environmental benefits, combined with the cost savings, make BSFL an attractive option for livestock farmers looking to optimize their feed systems. Conclusion, the future of farming is here. As the global demand for protein continues to rise, innovative solutions like BSFL offer a promising way forward. By rearing BSFL on substrates like chicken manure, farmers can produce high-quality, sustainable feed in a cost-effective manner. Chicken manure, in particular, stands out as the best-performing substrate, enabling rapid growth and nutrient-dense larvae within just 21 to 28 days. That wraps up today's episode of Radical Farming. 
Thank you so much for joining us as we explore the exciting world of BSFL and their potential to transform waste into valuable livestock feed. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow farmers, sustainability enthusiasts, or anyone interested in the future of agriculture. Stay tuned for more innovative farming ideas and practices that are shaping the future of food production. Until next time, keep farming radically.